Welcome to Tech Talk. Today I have the 2013 CBR600RR. In 2003, Honda launched the CBR600RR. It featured a unit ProLink suspension and other race technologies that had been adopted from MotoGP. The new CBR600RR is building on the platform of the previous model and has taken performance to a new level. Let's take a look at the aerodynamics and styling. Overall, it's been given a more aggressive edge. The front cowl has a sharp and slanted nose. The windscreen is smaller and the cowl comes up higher. The two line beam headlights are angled inward to help guide air into the new ram air duct. The new design allows a more direct path right into the airbox. The new tank shelter shape has a snug fit for your arms and is easy to grip with your knees when a rider is in a tucked riding position. The middle and lower cowl covers effectively block heat from the engine. The middle and tail cowls share the same cowl duct design as the RC213. The new LED tail light has been integrated into the tail cowl above the silencer. And the bike has new 12-spoke aluminum wheels, just like the CBR1000RR. The CBR600RR will be available in three colors. A brand new solid red, this HRC branded racing scheme recognized across the globe and Repsol for the first time on a CBR600RR. Now let's talk about suspension. The development team added a completely new 41 millimeter Showa big piston inverted fork. The damping adjuster is located on top of the fork where they are quick and easy to get to. The result? Riding on an ordinary road is even more comfortable than before, and when the bike's taken to the limit on the track, there's an improved sense of connection with the ground when braking. And the rear unit ProLink suspension's been revised to improve overall performance. So what about engine performance? In 2010, Honda became the official engine supplier to all participating teams in the new Moto2 class. The fact that the Moto2 engine was based on the CBR's engine is proof of its quality and reliability. For 2013, the dual-stage fuel injection system has been revised to achieve more low to mid-range power. The newly designed Ram Air intake funnel improves torque above 7,000 RPM. CBRs are known for great balance and mass centralization. To centralize the bike's mass even more, Designers took weight off areas of the bike that were furthest from the center of gravity. The result is an agile handling and sharp responsiveness. Those changes also took the bike's yaw movement and cornering up to the next level. Yaw movement was improved beyond that of the RC212V MotoGP bike. That information was fed back up to the race development team so they could improve the next MotoGP model. The result is a bike that is everything you want for the track, for the street, a bike that's fast, fun, just like a CBR should be.